into the lesson. Let's look at the learning targets of this lesson. It's substitute numbers instead of variables and evaluate numerical terms using the order of operations. Directly, let's go into the problem number one. 8x plus 4z subtract 7 subtract 5 and use x equal to negative 7 and z equal to 9. Now look at the first part of this polynomial. It's 8x. In this term, the value, the variable is x and the value of x is negative 9 according to the question. Therefore, the first term is going to change as 8 times negative 9. And the second term, 4z, the variable is z, the value of z is 9, so it's going to change as 4 times 9. And there is no more variables, so we have to write them over. Now, 8 times negative 9 will give you negative 72, plus 4 times 9 will give you plus 36, subtract 7, subtract 5 will give you subtract 12. Sorry, I missed the positive sign. Now what you can do is to simplify this, combine the like signs, the numbers with the like signs. Negative 72 subtract negative, I'm sorry, negative 72 subtract 12. You will get negative 84. Then we have add 36. This is equal to negative 48. We got the answer as one value. A quick recap. 8 times negative 9 in this. Negative 9 is the value that we substituted. So I'm going to just give a new color for that number that we substitute. And in the second term, the 9 is the value that we substituted. All right. Then when you simplify using the order of operations, you will get the answer as negative 48. Second problem. 4D subtract N and use D equal to negative 3 and N equal to negative 9. Now look at the first term, 4d. In this, we are going to plug in the value of d, so we will get 4 times negative 3. In the next term, subtract n. Plug in the value of n, so we will get negative 9. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Subtract negative 9. You know now to subtract a negative number, you have to add the opposite sign of that number, which means we have to add positive 9. This will give you negative 3. Answer will be negative because the sign of the greater number in the above step is negative. And here, in the first step, the negative 3 is the value of D we plug in. Then negative 9 is the next value, which is the value of N. All right. Now let's go to question number 3. Negative 4 plus negative 6 over Z subtract 2N. 
and use z equal to negative 2 and n equal to 3. So to start, we are going to look at the first term. There is no variable in the term, so you have to write the term over. Plus, in the ne next term, the variable is z, therefore you have to plug in the value of z. The numerator part is negative 6, which has no variable. The denominator part is z, which is negative 2. Subtract 2n. 2. The value of n is 3, so it would be 2 times 3. Equal to negative 4 will remain as it is. When you simplify negative 6 divided by negative 2 negative 6 divided by negative 2 as you know the in the order of operation we do the division before addition and multiplication and subtraction therefore we divide negative 6 by negative 2 then you will get plus 3 after that we have negative 2 times 3 negative 2 times 3 is subtract 6 as before we have two like signs negative 4 and negative 6 so we have to add them up and put that sign negative 10 plus 3 now, now we got the answer as one value we're going to get the answer as one value which is negative 7 right a uh, review is negative 2 is the number that we insert instead of z also 3 is the number that we substitute or insert instead of n all right let's go to problem number 4 is 4z plus negative 14 over x and use x equal to negative 7 and z equal to negative 5. So it would be 4 times negative 5 plus negative 14 divided by x. As we know, x is negative 7, so it's going to be negative 14 divided by negative 7 is equal to 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 now negative 14 divided by negative 7 will give you what it's positive 2 so add 2 now what is negative 20 plus 2 yeah it's negative 18 all right so let me highlight the numbers that i plug in here first one is the value of z is negative 5 then the value of x which is negative 7 okay and the final problem we have parenthesis here so pay closer attention negative 3 parenthesis all right before substituting in this whenever you have parenthesis we can do this in two ways the better way is that you multiply simplify this algebraic expression which means multiply this negative 3 throughout this binomial inside the parenthesis okay so i'm going to distribute negative 3 to everything inside the parenthesis so i'm going to get negative 3 times negative 6 f which is going to be positive 18 f then i'm going to multiply negative 3 and negative 9 c and the answer is plus 27 c once you once you simplify the expression you can start substituting the values of the variable. 
variable c equal to 8 and f equal to 6. In the first term, we have 18f, so it's going to change to 18 times 6 plus 27 times c, c is 8. Okay. Now, 18 times 6, 108 plus 27 times 8, 216. And the final answer would be 324. All right, let's review this. The value of F I plugged in here, and the value of C I plugged in here. All right. So this is the demonstration of how you have to show working for every problem on your assignments whenever possible. I know some assignments you don't have to show the working. That would be fine if you just write the answer in for those assignments. So I hope you have learned some techniques through this video. Therefore, I expect you to work them out, complete the assignment, and submit to me. If you watch this video and learn the steps from this, and you have already submitted these assignments, you can redo it and resubmit your assignments. That will help you to get higher grades. Those who submit the assignments without working will get minimum points. If you need full grade or the highest grade, please work them out yourself and learn through these assignments and my videos. Thank you. There is an extra credit question. The question is, which operation does the parenthesis represent in the work above? I need you to answer this question in the comment box below. If you answer correctly in the comment box, you will get extra credit. Students, remember, extra credit is always helpful for everyone.